Even while on vacation on a cruise, people pass away every day. Sadly, this occurs more frequently than you may imagine. Up to three individuals may travel on cruises per week across the world, especially on those that often transport older passengers. No cruise line will provide cruise critic with an actual number of deaths each year. What transpires though when a traveler dies at sea or in a foreign port? What happens to the body of the person? What duty falls on the family or friends of the passenger? There are still more mind blowing things happening on the voyage that you are unaware of. Here, we examine their secrets in more detail. Hey there! Welcome to High Technology. If you are new to this channel, consider subscribing so you can see more of the incredible videos we make. Hit that notification bell so you won't miss a thing. Anyway, here's what you need to know about when a passenger dies at sea. Most maritime facilities occur on cruise lines that cater to senior citizens. Because it is less expensive than staying at home, many older people board cruise ships for extended periods of time. Even some folks go to sea to pass away. The majority of large ships are outfitted with a mortuary in the tragic event that a passenger should pass away while the ship is traveling. Additionally, they have corpse bags, and in the event of a death, they are prepared to place a body or bodies in one of them, until the ship docks at a port with enough room room to make the appropriate preparations for returning the deceased to their homes. Heart attacks are the primary cause of natural cases, which account for the great majority of fatalities on cruises. Every cruise ship that sails the seas must have a morgue and a dead bag on board. Most morgues are small, able to hold 3 to 6 bodies, and frequently located far from areas with food storage. So how does the cruise ship deal with deceased passengers? When a guest on a certain cruise line passes away, the cruise line will make an announcement called operation shining star to let the personnel know. There are unique codes for everything on a cruise ship. The secret codes are made to be announced over the speaker without the audience understanding what they imply or becoming alarmed. Operation Bright Start is the code indicating a significant medical issue, and Operation Rising Star is the code for death. The code itself appears to make sense considering the topic matter and is the same on practically all cruise lines. Following the discovery of a deceased passenger, the family would be notified. The guest traveling companions come first followed by the host's family at home. The body of the guest is subsequently placed in the zipper sealed body bag before being transported to the ship's mortuary. Three to four passengers can usually fit on board. While the size may differ by cruise line, the majority can accommodate at least three bodies. Some larger ships have a large capacity. The coffin locker is what the crew refers to as the location where the bodies of deceased passengers are housed. It is occasionally required to use the freezers while the cruise is underway and the ship's mooring capacity is reached. However, the cruise line never intends to keep bodies on board for an extended period of time. The body is typically flown home after the cruise line unloads it as quickly as possible. The charges are the responsibility of the deceased person's family, however, travel insurance should cover these costs. Additionally, you have the choice to retain the body on board so that it can return to port with the ship, allowing the surviving passengers to continue their trip. Dead bodies are swiftly removed removed using an exit that is not close to the passenger gangway. Deaths on cruise ships resemble those that occur on land in many ways. The FBI will be contacted to look into any alleged wrongdoing in the cruise originated in the US. The proper staff will be contacted to investigate if the cruise is in another nation. The crew will interview people and conduct their investigations in a manner similar to that which they would do on land. They may review CCTV, ask other travelers, and examine the crime scene. How quickly a crime is investigated depends on its seriousness and whether a suspect has been identified. The crew's crew on board would be able to detain the suspect in a suspected murder case until the arrival of the appropriate authorities. In order to minimize the number of visitors who witness it, the body is typically disembarked as early in the morning as feasible. The body will be disembarked at the closest port if the death was due to natural causes or if the incident has been examined. Normally, a person must disembark with the body, and if this does occur, each person leaves the ship must have a passport. No matter where the voyage was, local authorities must be notified of the death. They must be prepared to explain the passenger's death and present proof of what transpired when the cruise ship docks at the point of disembarkation. You might be wondering if there are jails on cruise ships. Yes, they do. Briggs, the nautical name for a jail on a ship, including a cruise ship, do exist on board cruise liners. The name Brigantine refers to a particular class of two-masted sailing ship that was once employed to 
transport prisoners. You'll find all kinds of people on cruise ships because they resemble tiny cities, including a few people who don't know how to act when on vacation. Additionally, despite the fact that cruise ships are all about having fun with bars, restaurants, theaters, spas, and water parks, they still have a duty to protect their passengers. However, the majority of cruise ships don't actually have any law enforcement officers on board. Instead, cruise lines employ a security team uniquely for each ship. However, the level of authority for each team can vary. While it is possible for a passenger to be forced to remain in their cabin when a member of the ship's security personnel is stationed outside the door as an alternative punishment, passengers who defy the laws of the ship risk being taken to the ship's brig. If it is determined that the passenger needs to be kept in brig confinement, the passenger will be given access to a basic cabin, usually on a lower deck with no windows. There will be a basic mattress with bedding and toilet amenities inside the cabin. They are not cells in the traditional sense. There aren't any sliding doors with bars there. Passengers won't be able to let themselves out because the door can only be opened from the outside. As a result, while they are serving their sentence, their meals will be delivered to them. What sort of conduct will land a cruiser in the brig? You run the risk of spending your holiday in jail if you break the code of behavior outlined in the cruise contract that each passenger must sign before boarding. Violence against members of the crew or other passengers, disobedience of the cruise ship safety regulations, shoplifting from the ship stores, and possession of illegal drugs or other contraband items are just a few of the offenses that call for a trip to jail. Being drunk alone does not get you locked up in the brig, but when you start acting in a way that damages the peace and serenity of the cruise ship, you're brought to the brig. If you overindulge in alcohol and start acting irresponsibly and breaching regulations, culminating in the ship's security personnel coming to take you away and lock you up in the brig. When is a cruise ship passenger who has been detained released from custody? A passenger will often remain in solitary confinement until they are allowed to leave the ship and are turned over to the proper authorities in a port of call. This might happen in the ship's next port of call or it could happen towards the end of the journey, depending on the circumstances, of course. There is a whole other world that you cannot see in the cruise quarters on a cruise ship. The only way to see the completely other cosmos that is hidden from the passengers is to step outside the ship and explore it. Passengers always have access to the main body of the ship. The cruise only accommodations however are hidden behind special doors below decks. Thousands of staff members work alongside thousands of passengers on a contemporary cruise ship to make sure everyone has the best vacation experience possible. The ship staff is made to feel very comfortable thanks to the crew bar and other facilities in the crew area. Additionally, most often there are computers, training rooms, and game rooms. The gaming room has video game consoles as well as popular arcade games including foosball, air hockey, pool, and darts. The staff can also unwind on the designated front or rear balcony while lounging in the sunshine. Even some companies have a crew pool. Furthermore, there is a human resources center where crews can discuss contacts, cabins, payroll, and crew life. The bulk of guests will only get to observe the behind-the-scenes activities either boarding or disembarking the ship while it is in port, though there are certain tours available to see them. The lower decks are where the gangways are located, along with the majority of the cruise quarters. Cruise ships can be more huge than you might expect, and given all the wonders that we probably have not known about them, it's safe to say that we must be careful when touring around. If you make a mistake, you can find yourself in a crew-only area where you shouldn't be, or worse, see something you are not supposed to see. There could be a lot that cruise ships are not telling us, but we know it is all for our safety and comfort. How about you? What are some shocking things that you have found or experienced in a cruise ship? Let us know in the comments down below. That would be a wrap for today's video. We hope this has been amusing to you. If you have enjoyed watching, please give this a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button together with the notification bell so you won't miss a thing. This has been High Technology, serving you the best and cutting edge contents on the highest form of technology available on the planet. We'll see you on the next one.